key natin is yung G-O na word. So, there you go. Meron bang food aggression ng iyong chow chow? I know how difficult it is to handle this situation. But there are some tips that I could share with you why my dog is always calm during feeding time. If you want to know more, please keep on watching. Mommy welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Say hi to my dog, Theo. Hey, I know where money. Hi guys, welcome again to another Sunday vlog. So before anything else, comment of the week. Muna tayo. Apa. Okay, so our comment of the week will come from Blake Isip. So, he says, Hello po, Mami Ne. Sana po gawa kayo video about food aggression. So, here we go. We're going to answer the comment of the week with one vlog. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys. So, una sa lahat, kailangan mo munang i-identify yung causes kung bakit nagkakaroon ng food aggression ng isang chow-chow or ang isang dog. Number one is puppyhood experience. Usually, nagyayari talaga to sa mga backyard breeding. Yung most of the time, the puppies have to compete with food. No? So, maliit pa lang sila na puppy. Hindi sila nabibigyan ng enough uh, nutrients or hindi sila nabibigyan ng enough food by their owner or milk from their mom. So, nagkakaroon ng uh, food aggression dito. So, yun nga. Um, kung hindi sila, kung nagugutom sila nung puppy sila, pwedeng ito yung isa sa dahilan. Number two, a traumatic event. So, when it comes to traumatic events, pwedeng yung halimbawa fasade, nawala yung owner niya or sinasaktan siya. So, maraming factors kung paano magiging traumatic ang isang experience para sa isang dog. Ako naman, personally, ito yung take ko of food aggression. Number three for me is a lack of training and trust with the owner. So, I will discuss that further later. So, guys, bakit ba very important talaga yung trust and respect? Pag meron kasi nun, guys, talagang makikinig yung dog mo sa kahit anong command or kahit anong gusto mo. So, kung wala pa yun, guys, then you have to build that. I'll probably create a vlog on how you can strengthen your relationship with your dog. But, especially, pag puppy pa yung dog mo, kailangan talaga na establish mo to. Okay? So, para sa kanya, eventually, kung kaya niyang mag-trust sa isang human being, which is ikaw, na alpha niya, Eventually, matututunan din niya not to be afraid with other people. So, when it comes to food, the food will always come from a person, from you. So, you have to own the food first. To put in the dog's brain that he can only access food through you and you do not pose as a threat to him. Hindi mo siya kaagaw. Ikaw ang kanyang ref. Ngayon, when it comes to feeding time, um, introduction as a puppy, madalas kasi ang nakikita ko sa mga pet owners, pag feeding time na ng puppy, talagang binababa lang, tapos hinahayaan kahit tumatalon yung dog, kahit nagwawala siya. So, ikaw natutuwa ka kasi feeling mo, Wow, excited siya. Gutom na gutom siya. Pero pwede kasing iniisip niya na parang, oh, kukunin mo, no? Pakainin mo yung food ko, no? So, unahan na kita. So, never give food to a very excited dog. Your dog has to be calm. Their food is like a treat. So, if you give it to an excited dog, you're actually rewarding that kind of behavior. Mm. So, guys, kung makikita nyo, may distance lagi si Theo sa akin and yung food niya. So, Ito, irresistible to kasi favorite treat niya to yung Greek yogurt. So, kung makikita nyo, hindi siya pumupunta agad sa akin. Sit. Stay. Kahit ilagay ko dito sa babayan, hindi yan pupunta hanggat wala akong signal. Stay. Focus. So, nasasanay siya na without my signal, hindi siya pupunta dun sa food. So, yun yung kailangan mo establish para alam niya na sa'yo to. Tapos, sa'yo sa, sa din yung permission for him to get his food. Ah! Focus. So, ang key natin is yung G-O na word. So, pag sinabi natin yun, dun pala siya pwedeng pumunta. Go! Okay. 
There you go. Good boy. Makita nyo, ganun ko siya pinapakain. And if you've watched already A Day in a Life with a Chow, ganun ko rin siya kinagawa. At hindi na yun na bago ever since he was a puppy. Nga guys, no, so magandang na-instill din sa dog nyo yung um, impulse nila with food, no? Yung food impulse na, halimbawa, may nahulog na food, hindi nila kakainin yun agad. Kasi, nasa inyo lagi ang permission with food. So, ang dami, daming, daming um, benefits ng impulse control. At natutunan ko yun sa aking um, obedient school. So, yung impulse control talaga, tinuturo yan, puppy pa lang sila. Kasi if they're trained not to eat food without your permission, then never silang malalason or never silang kakain na hindi talaga nila pagkain. Example, nakababa na yung food, he's eating, you bring a treat with you habang kumakain siya. Okay? So, paamoy mo lang. Tapos, tumabi ka sa kanya. Pag hindi siya nag-growl, you can say good boy and give a treat. Okay? Pag nag-calm siya, you give a treat. Okay? So, you always reward the fact na, ah, okay, kalmado siya and he's not showing any aggression while you're around, you give him a treat. So, treats are... So, basically, what you're trying to say is, okay, I'm not posing uh, as a threat and I'm just here to give you a treat. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not here to get your food or I'm not here to bother you. I just want you to feel safe around me. Stay longer. So after a week, stay longer as in tumambay ka doon, talk to your dog, good boy, good girl. So yun. Pag hindi na siya nag-growl, tapos nasasanay na siya sa tabi mo, eto, wag kang kabahan. Try to touch the bowl. Touch them ha, touch the bowl. Never ever do this guys, mga first few weeks pa lang. Dahil makakagat talaga kayo na. Hold the bowl, okay? Hold lang ha, do not get. Kasi nga, when you get it, isipin niya, kukulim mo yung food ko. Sa mga na, I'm gonna bite you. So, never do that. Hold lang and then give a treat. Very crucial that you see the difference of the calmness and parang silent kill na uh, action. Yung like parang or yung tingin. Okay? You know naman when a dog is coming, eh, yung ears are back, tapos hindi deleted yung eyes nila. Very calm yung eyes nila. Um, so yun, you have to see the difference kasi timing is very, very, very crucial para mag-gets niya yung napaintindi mo sa kanya. So, anong gagawin na mami ni kapag hinahawakan ko yung bowl tapos hindi siya nagre-react at binibigyan ko siya ng treat. Ano yung next step doon? So, again, reviewin natin guys ha. So, it's bowl down. Okay? Pag nag Pag nag-behave siya, nag-calm siya, you give the food. So, that's his treat. While he's eating, you give a treat. Pag di siya nag-react. The moment you put the bowl up at hindi siya nag-react, he steps backwards, you give a treat. So, kung aggressive na yung dog mo, wag mong, never mo hawakan. Pero slowly, as you can see, kahit hawakan ko to, that's fine with him. Even if I get it, Sit. Sit. See? Hindi siya nagagalit. Kasi alam niya na kay mommy to. Pero pag binalik ko yan, ah, ah, ah. Again, he's still waiting for my permission to tell him to eat it. So that's how we train him. Focus. Go! That's when he, say, that's when he eats. Again, to try ko ha. Eh. I get it. Sit. Theo, sit. Okay, stay. Focus on mommy. Focus, go boy, go. There you go. Fight, hawakan ko to, hawakan ko yan. He's not angry. You have to understand, guys, that a dog's personal space is actually their sign of respect. 
when their space is their way of saying i respect you so when you go inside that circle it's actually a privilege they're actually giving you that privilege because they trust and love you so without that you really cannot have access to your dog that's why it's very very important po talaga that you have trainings as a puppy pa pero right now um blake if you're really struggling with these things um if you have already tried my approach um and it doesn't work i highly suggest that you have a personal trainer already because it's really a case-to-case uh, scenario depending on the trauma or kung ano talaga yung root cause ng aggression ng dog mo. So, iba-iba yung approach dito. But this is quite the safest. Um, meron kasi wala pang food aggressive na. So, there are really trained coaches out there that could help you. So, there you have it guys. Hopefully, may nagtunan naman kayo kay mami ni at kay Theodore na wala namang naitutulong kundi magpa-cute. Believe me guys, pag na-build niyo yung trust and respect, you can do anything with your dog. Okay, thank you again for watching. Alay, Pika. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you again on my next vlog. Bye.